Hi there, welcome to this week's episode. Today we're talking about cinematic bars. What we're gonna do here is an amazing effect called letterbox. On the adjustment layer, now you have the letterbox and you have our aspect ratios up here. And you have some of the, the most popular ones, something like 235, it tends to be a really nice one to use. Let's say something like this clip is a perfect example, uh, where now your character is off frame. Now you can come into the clip itself and bring him down. If you notice here, the frame is above, you wanna make sure you're still within the cut, otherwise you're gonna get jumps into your cinematic bars and that does not look good. You can see it with and with Nauda. You can see it here. Basically what you're doing is just cropping in your image in there. Trying to make something very cinematic. That tends to be a, a technique that a lot of people use. Kind of cut sometimes makes it a little problematic to do it, but by using an adjustment layer together with a litter box, you can now change your aspect creative. Sure. You can choose how much you want as well. You now get this nice looking video. That's it, that's a quick look into the cinematic bars. I tried in many different ways. I tried having a generator black box on top and below, but then with that you can't really choose the aspect ratio. This is by far the best way because it gives you a general profile over all the images and you can pick the aspect ratio that you want, which is really great. Uh, and you can adjust it a little bit more or less if you want. It gives you the flexibility. I find it incredibly useful and I hope is useful for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.